All right, guys, we're back. So uh, we were talking about the power rack as being the most important uh, piece of equipment in our home gym. I have to agree. Power rack's pretty darn important. Yeah, it is. Uh, not for not only the reasons you mentioned about um, having a spotter, obviously, if you're working by yourself. Luckily, we get to work together, so we have a spotter. But for other reasons like, um, uh, what was I thinking? Um, rack, like rack pulls. Rack pulls, you know, rack those pulls, are yeah. definitely absolutely beneficial yeah. in grip sport for sure. Because, you know, a lot of our lifts start a, a, quite a bit higher, you know, like oh, yeah. and whatnot. Yeah, so, so good rack pulls. it's nice to be able to do rack pulls. And uh, a lot of the grip bars obviously fit in the rack, so you can benefit from that. And, yeah, work on overloading or whatever, you know, just getting the hands used to the weight a little bit more. Yeah, for sure. Oh, definitely. So uh, what are some healthy lifestyle habits that you subscribe to that you could think of that would help the average person get strong and fit? Um, one that I embarked on many years ago, and I kind of throw it in there from time to time because if you use it too much then your body's just going to adapt to it it's just not going to work is intermittent fasting for anyone who wants to like cut weight or cut body fat um that definitely helps a great deal you know throw forget what you know about diet pills and just throw it out the window i mean it's just a waste of money um if you're looking to get lean and you know ripped and whatnot your best bet is just do it the natural way as far as other than eating right you know, you factor in intermittent fasting, you're going to cut some body fat and you're going to see it big time. Good old hard work for sure. Yeah. <laughs> and hard. Yep. Exactly. And hard work. There is no cut in corners. And that's yeah. another thing that, you know, you learn the hard way back in, you know, back when you're young, you're just like, eh, I don't need to, I don't need to eat right or do this. I just, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just going to lift weights and I'll be all right. You know, it's like, yeah, right. And your metabolism just laughs at yeah. you as you're aging. <laughs> yeah. What's a recovery program? The next recovery program the next day of lifting. Yeah. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think a lot of people are afraid to try intermittent fasting because uh, there's a misconception that they'll be hungry all the time or they won't be able to perform. You know, if you yeah. look into it, I mean, some of the best performances in athletics were from people that were fasting. They were fasting at the time they were performing. And exactly it's pretty darn impressive oh yeah like it's just what like blows my mind is that when you intermittent fast because you know it's like a whole misconception which i mean somewhat is true like hey you got to eat to have energy and blah 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 but i fast and i've got this like ungodly amount of energy it's like what is going on <laughs> Yeah, your so, body starts producing different hormones than it would if you were just, you know, gobbling down food like consistently. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, and it's just a great, you know, reset for your body just to say, hey, you know, like, let's detoxify the body a little bit rather than, you know, constantly feeding it junk or just just food in general and having, you know, like your whole, you know, st in stomachs uh, stomach intestines and everything just working overtime and whatnot while you're constantly constantly eating and feeding your face so but it but it helps big time and you couple that with you know working out and just doing some cardio here and there you know you'll be good that's awesome so you train with some pretty monsters of grip so uh what's that like training with the big guys and just uh what's like a day in the life of training you know with the group you train with what's that like man Oh, it's you fun, are definitely man. fortunate to have uh, the people you have around you. Oh, yeah, definitely. Especially Chad Clark, that dude. Yep. I mean, he is like I call him. At least I do. And I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with Terry Todd. I call him our version of Terry Todd or at least my version of Terry yeah, Todd, because sure. he's that type. He's that type of guy where he will sacrifice everything for you his workout, his time, whatever. And he will say, this is what you need to do. This is how you build yourself up. What do you, you know, what are you trying to do? Strong man. Okay. Well, you got to do this, this, and this, you know, you trying to get a better dead, uh, deadlift. You need to build your back. You need to make that back strong, your lower back, your lats, everything, you know, whatever it is, he's got a prescription for it pretty much like a doctor. And he is like the best hype man, like any competition you go to, the best hype man. He's going to be the loudest one there. And in our group, you know, of local people, he like helps like tremendously with like the people who are like 
even starting getting into it. You know, there's like a few people who have started to get into it, who love it, who just need the guidance, you know, and the help and they get it and they've improved themselves. Like, for example, a buddy of mine who's also, a, you know, in our group named Steve McBride, he basically, Chad always says he came from like nothing, like as far as like any type of weight training, anything like that. And he has just blown up like his numbers, like his numbers have gotten so much better. And he's very humble where he's like, Oh no, I'm not doing too good. Or I don't think I'll hit this. It's just like, <laughs> dude, look where you came from. Look when before yeah. where you hit like decent numbers, you know, back, let's say last year, back in November compared to now, you know, you're at the Arnold now and you're hitting these big numbers and you're moving on up little by little. Yeah. And it just, you know, and that's the other misconception, but with other people out there where they like start to get into lifting or bodybuilding, whatever it is, they think like, Oh, if I do this, I'm instantaneously going to blow up or my numbers are going to blow up. It's like, no, it takes time, man. It takes time. And consistent being consistent is the key you know that's what a lot of people fail to understand when they're starting to get into yeah, it. you have to a like, lot of patience <laughs> yeah oh yeah a lot of yeah, patience sure. dedication. i've been working on the number three for like you know forever <laughs> yeah you and me both with the, for the number two man i mean like i've tried so many things like i've tried to just clasp it like this push it up against like my quad and just try to clasp it down and it, it's helping little by little but You know, like when I'm doing like a negative, like I'll hold it, like I'll push it all the way down up against something like my leg and then just hold it there and just be like, okay, maybe it'll train my hand and my brain to just say, hey, keep it right there. And little by little, you know, you'll start to progress, which it's helped, you know, it it has helped. So I'm like, okay, well, hopefully I can do this, you know, get certified and I'm not going to get certified until I can just close that thing in my sleep, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, time, it takes time and a lot of patience. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. For sure. So, um, what advice do you have beyond anything you've told us, um, for people that are looking to get into grip or just looking to get into, uh, just strength competition? Do it. Don't, don't second guess yourself. Don't get a second opinion. Do it no matter what, if you are a perfectly healthy human being, or someone who has lost a limb or has some type of issue or the best one yet, don't have time, do it. Make time for it. Make time for it. Don't let, don't let life pass you up. If this is something you want to do, do it. Don't, you know, and don't give up on it. Don't just say like, you're going to do it and be, uh, be committed to it. And then a week later you give up on it because you're not seeing the results that you want. Well, it doesn't work that way, you know, because if it did, everyone in the free world would be doing this and everyone would be ripped out of their minds and strong as ever. (laughs) So I would, I would say, don't let it hold you back regardless of what you have going on in your life, because not only will it help your strength as far as physical strength um, and looking good physically, but it will help your, your mental, mental strength as well. Absolutely. To be, to be mentally strong and, yep. you know, have, have a lot of patience, you know, that's one sure. thing that I lacked too, as a, as a kid and <laughs> as a teenager and growing up was patience. So yeah, yeah. Surprised, I'm, I'm surprised that I'm doing this and, you know, still going about it. I guess it's just super fun to me, but I've learned to, to adapt with it and just be more patient in life. Yeah. I think it comes with age for sure. Yeah, it does. That, you're oh, speaking of people oh, yeah. that uh, don't have time and uh, I always tell us people, Okay, if you don't have time, uh, I guarantee you have two minutes a day. So exactly, I challenge them to do twenty push-ups a day. That's it, just twenty push-ups a day for thirty days, and tell me if there's a difference. And yeah, they'll be exactly. amazed if they just do twenty push-ups a day for thirty straight days. How much different they are? Yep. Oh yeah, definitely. Two I mean, minutes. Uh, I mean, everyone's got a lot of time. Listen, you're not working twenty-four hours a day. And you're not sitting there staring at your kids or babying them 24 hours a day. You can take at least 30 minutes yeah. to do a little bit of a workout, regardless of what it is. Go for a walk. Take your kids with you. I mean, if that's the case, hey, take your kids with you or just have them sit there in the garage or at the gym with you and just watch you lift and show them what's going on. That's what I wish my parents did because they yeah. 
they never lifted. You know, my dad maybe lifted here and there for fun back in high school. That was about it. But I wish growing up that they were into that. And, you know, I to where I would like follow their lead. I don't know yeah. how I came about. I don't know where I got it from. I guess it's maybe just growing up watching like, you know, the big muscular dudes like in wrestling and Arnold and Sylvester yeah, Stallone yeah, exactly. and whatnot. And you're just, you know, you're just like, oh, I, I want to be as big as them, you know. Yep. And you just start getting into it and you just fall in love with working out. Both my kids compete in arm lifting, so it's awesome. That's yeah, see, and that's awesome. That's they're seven that's, and ten. Yep. That's see, I love that. I love seeing stuff like that because it's it's awesome. Um that's what I'm trying to do as well to get my nephews into it. You know, they're teenagers, so it'd be like perfect for them. Because yeah. I always say yeah, this, I'm sure. just like, listen. You guys, they wrestle too, you know, they wrestle and they do a little bit of lifting at, at school, power lifting and whatnot. And one of them really wants to get into like doing the power lifting and strongman thing. And I'm like, listen, get into grip sport. It will help your grip, especially when it comes to doing the deadlift, let's say for power lifting, or if you do a strongman, use this as, a, as an example doing the farmer's walk or farmer's hold, you know, for time, you're going to need that. That's going to like yeah. couple in very well. Even so, lifting an that, Atlas stone, that yeah. torque on your wrist and fingers. Oh, exactly. Know? Everything is exactly. strong, man. That my yeah. son does martial arts. And I tell him when you do grappling, if you could grab a kid's gi and they can't escape because your grip is so strong, they don't know what to do. They'll panic inside. Yeah. Right. And you're just holding oh, yeah. them there. Exactly. Yep. So, I mean, it, it goes hand in hand, you know, with, with both of those sports or all sports, you know, in general. So Absolutely. that's the beauty about it. That's yep. the beauty about it. And it seems like a big win-win situation. So Absolutely. I'll take it. For sure. So um, you're in a unique situation compared to most people we interview. Uh, 95% of the people we've interviewed are, you know, all but I guess it'd be like 96% or whatever. I never yeah. put their hands on the potatoes. And uh, wow, you have. You already have a yeah. set of potatoes. Yeah, only you and Joe Hodgson that we've interviewed have actually had a set of potatoes before we talked to him. So, oh, um, man. Yeah. So tell us what you think of the golden potato and lifting on the golden potato. What was your first, you know, first experience like with lifting them? And just like, what are your favorite potato lifts? And, and what do you think about the challenge behind it? I, I love it, man. I mean, it's just something different compared to, you know, like a rolling thunder or a pinch block or like a Saxon bar or anything like that, or even like a Denny ring hold. Um, so when I first got it, uh, you know, I just did a regular pull, like, you know, like the cannonball or like a rolling thunder pull. So I was adding the weight little by little. And I was looking at the stats that you guys have up there, like for the leaderboards. And I was like, okay, well, let me see where I stand. And I think I ended up pulling the last time that I did it was uh, maybe a few months ago. I was at about like 149, 150 uh, pounds yep. pulling it. And when I added more weight, you know, like you've got to like, you've got to grab it a certain way. Like I was wrapping my whole hand around it and like going around like where it connects to the carabiner. Yeah. And I was like, well, no, that's, that's not the way you do it. Um you know, you've got those little stubs right there that, you know, you got to push your fingers up against and you can't go yeah. over. Yeah. So like, so like I grabbed it and when I was adding more weight, like, you know, where, it, where if, if it's too heavy, it'll, you know, slip out of your hands. Well, because it's kind of, you know, pretty much like a rock and it's got not jagged edges, but it's not like hundred percent smooth, like yeah. a rolling thunder or exactly. like a cannonball yeah. or something like that. It like went, it just like, didn't cut open but it just like kind of opened up a callus and i was like oh man it's like okay i gotta work i gotta watch out for that you know i don't <laughs> want to tear up my hand but man it feels yep. good lifting this thing i love it and then another time was uh we were over at chad's house and jay ripley wanted to do the uh what was it the record for pull-ups mm -hmm. with two yep. potatoes so I was like, all right, dude, I'll record you. Come on. What, you know, what song do you want to get you hyped up? You got to do this, you know, come on, break this record. So no one else and try to go for, go to, go for a few more, you know, so no yep. one else can try to top, you know, that. Yeah. Record. He has a really good shot. I think he'll do it soon. Yeah. I think he will too. Yeah. I mean, he's great when it comes to pull-ups and then he asked me and Chad to do it. And I'm like, 
almost 220 pounds and Chad's a bigger dude than me. He's like, no, nope, yeah. I'm not doing that. I'm a big fat guy. I can't do it. <laughs> and, then, yep. and then he looked at me and I was just like, uh, I don't know, man, I think I would struggle. And then later on, I kind of thought about it. I was like, you know what? The hell with it. I'll, I'll do it. Come on, record me. I ended up getting three good pull-ups and I was like, yeah, I can't do this. <laughs> this is your, <laughs> this is your department, dude. I mean, I can do pull-ups, but the way this is being done, this is difficult. I'll, you know, I'll yes. probably like cheat and wrap my whole hand around it and whatnot, yeah. and, you know, yeah. so it won't count. <laughs> <laughs> Hercules but, hold. Yeah. But the, that's the, my favorite know, thing. Oh yeah. That is fun, man. Hercules hold. And I've gotten like big into Denny holds, man. Do it with the golden potatoes. Hercules hold yeah. with the golden potatoes. Golden potato Hercules Ooh. hold. Okay. I'm going to next time, next time that there's a Hercules hold, they had one at the strongman competition that I was in. I should have thought of, I totally didn't even think about that. I mean, there's so many things you can do with all these grip implements. Like yeah. I saw, uh, uh, what's his name? Dally, Dally Z uh, Jay. Mm -hmm. He took a, this dude took a hub. All right. And I, and I think Jay was talking about this too, took a hub and put it up like on a uh, cable machine and was pulling it like yeah, this. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, dude, that is insane. <laughs> Dally Zhang's really cool. Yeah. yeah. Very yeah. creative. Yeah. He yeah. knows how to train grip, man. He yeah. really well, knows how to train he's grip. Cool, yeah. yeah, his interview is yeah. an awesome one to watch for sure. He was chatting oh, yeah. for two and a half hours talking about grip and how he's training grip and whatnot. It's awesome. He, uh, oh, yeah. he trained some 80-year-old ladies to kick butt on grip. They're yeah, out there I've seen that. On the trap bar with uh, fat grips. It's fantastic. With the fat grips, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Super cool, dude. And – um we were doing this one challenge. I don't know if you guys caught it on Instagram where it was, I think he started it him and some other dude that he's buddies with the, um, uh, what is it? The saddle, the saddle hold where you take oh, like side a saddle heck, hold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Side saddle. Yeah. Oh, that was fun. I was like, okay, I got to get in on this. So I like, I tried for like a, I think it was like an 85 and I was like, oh, I want to go up. Like the biggest dumbbell that I have at home right now is a 95 uh, hex dumbbell. I couldn't get that one. So I was like, all right, let me go back down to like, you know, 85, see what happens. Did that. And, you know, like the whole thing was all over. It was all over, like on the internet. No one else was doing it. I ended up getting the 95, like a week later. And I was like, all right, does this count? It's like, yeah, but you know, competition's over. And, <laughs> you know, you've got all these monsters doing it. Like the best one that I saw was when David LeBay grabbed a, uh, uh inch dumbbell and yeah, did it with them like come on besides <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that was inch real quick yeah because like when it was coming out I, dude i was tagging everybody i was like hey i was like i'm calling you 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 and you and you out and i like included him and i think he probably just looked at it and said yeah okay all right i see you man one second give me that inch dumbbell he just pulls it up like it's nothing i'm like all right i quit Never mind, I, i'm retired <laughs> <laughs> yeah i quit <laughs> you win so, yeah, those guys are but, monsters, man. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Awesome, awesome. So we appreciate chatting with you, man, and uh, thanks for coming on and spending some time with us. Is there anything else uh, you want to say or give a shout-out or any questions you have for us at Couch Potato Strong? Well, I appreciate the time, fellas. It's been a pleasure, man, and just definitely love to give a shout-out to – my loved ones, family, friends, all the grip people in our crew. Um, just like what you guys always say, keep on moving, baby. Keep on moving. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Take care all and keep moving. That's right. Yep. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Right, man. It was nice chatting right, with you. Have a good evening. Yeah. Thanks, fellas. I appreciate absolutely. it. Y'all have a great weekend, man. Yeah. Talk you to you too. soon. Take care. Yes, sir. Take care, everybody.